No, normally I'm not sitting you want because to it's uh, better to, to speak like this. We will sit a little bit and then when you come in with your questions, I will stand up. Huh? Yes. Okay, you, you can, can have translate that. Nastasi Magdukosek, by the Miki Cheto, you have for the answers, Ruiz, hello, Karo and Kangnik, you will have the Ruiz Sharonaki. It's more vivid. So, no, so. are you ready? Yes, Camera, absolutely. No, it's just I wanted to start microphone with. Is covered, microphone is covered, microphone is Yeah, you have it? I don't have it, but I believe some. Shut no, I, 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 I just wanted to start with one, with one sentence I heard in the press conference uh, that one uh, man director said or have, has said they told me that men are good to make films and women are good to see films and to understand films. So I'm happy that as so many women, they will all become filmmakers and so you will do it and not only understand it. Huh? You see, they're also fluent in English also. Yes, fine. Uh, so, hello? Testing, testing. Gashkate? Again, we have this problem. Can you see? Yes, should be here. Bolore Tano take Margaret Van Trotain, Hoyakap, Otur Cinema, Germania, Nikats, Bavakan Fiber and Karatai, and then Faskum. If Arachin Pioneer Nelitz, Yutana Sultan 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 իր անձնական սինեմայի աշխարը կարող է ստեղծել այդ շատ դժվար ասպարեզներում 80-ական թվականներին 79-ական ական թվականներին կարծում եմ ճիշտ կլինի այս տարվա համար շատ ինֆորմալ մաստր կլաս որոշեցինք անենք ոչ թե լեկցիա այլ ձեր մասնակցությամբ իր այդ խոսենք մի քիչ մեր առաջի իր առաջի պահերից հետո խնդրում եմ երբ որ պատրաստ եք հարցերով ունեք ձերքերը բարձացեք եւ շարունակենք հարցեր զուրիցը so i gave them a, a brief overview of what we discussed yes. about about making this video germany and so yes. i understood a little yes. bit yeah <laughs> and how um, your work has been so could you please stop that because with all these flashes it's uh, yeah, you can you can you can take photos but not with flash and afterwards, we can take any pictures. That yeah, sure, you sure, everything. But sources. when I have to, to look at the people and there's somebody who's always flashing, yes. it's not so. Yes. Huh? Shut love. Um, so I was telling them that you, you, you played a very prominent and fundamental role in the, uh, in the evolution of cinema in the 70s and 80s and the 90s. And you were one of the very few auteur female filmmakers operating at the time in, the, in Europe and in the Eastern Bloc. And it will make this a very informal conversation. Um, for me, I, it's always, it's always uh, interesting. interesting and fascinating to know what was your first spark, your first very, very first memory of what really inspired you to say, I'm going to pick up a camera and I'm going to pick up a piece of paper and a pen and I'm going to write Fabian interior, you know, room, day. And, what inspired you to be a visual storyteller? Okay. <laughs> you know, um, you see me, I'm not so very young anymore. So I went uh, in the early 60s, I went from Germany to Paris to study, to study French and to study. Mm -hmm. And uh, in these times uh, in Germany, there were not filmmaking was not so uh, very important. There were several films uh, after the war in our country which were really Heimat films, which are, forget them, no? You, the, and, and the real 
uh, German cinema, where, where in the 20s and, and then and when, when the Nazi and Nazi cities came in, uh, they did their films. But after the war, there was not a real art uh, prospect. So when I went to, uh, you want uh, to, to hear more and then sure. you are translating, it's, yeah. Um, <coughs> so in the early 60s I went to Paris and I met uh, some French students who were very fond of the Nouvelle Vague in this time, you know, in the early 50s and, uh, uh, and the late 50s and early 60s, the Nouvelle Vague. You saw a film at the opening of the, the festival, the, the Truffaut uh, uh, Tire sur le pianiste, that was one of these uh, Nouvelle Vague films. No? I saw it in the beginning. And, and so they took me to the, to, to the cinema and they took me because they were so enthusiastic that I was uh, contagious no? by their enthusiasm. But the first film I saw which really shocked me and gave me what was like a revelation for me. It was uh, as if the sky opened and I saw what I would like to do in life. That was the seventh seal of Igmar Bergman. That was the very first term of him. And, uh, and there I found everything what I thought would be important uh, for me to, to do it. So there was uh, wonderful photography, there was wonderful actors, there was psychology, there was painting, there was uh, music, that all, all together, no? And uh, from this point on, I had this wish in my heart, only that in the early 60s, you couldn't imagine that a woman, uh, first there was no German cinema, that started only in the 60, 65, 66. And, and, but for a woman to imagine that you, you can, could become a, become a director, it was uh, really impossible. Uh, Germanian <laughs> Yet for the can transport through for Jean Luc Godard, Clutch Abron, Yavesk Setin, Shad Vokevorvat, I filmed in the Garel, Arten Minor Serum Stepsvets, Bora Inke Garovata by Jamagin Tascum, Genal Paris, Yevaden Tascum, Yerequa film over the Detink, Yekorach, Charles Abu, Francois Truffon, Keraki, Dashna, Dashna, Dashna Murin the Vagichin, Tires Sub the Pianist. I filmed a Setin, Iren Shad Vokevorel, or Irok Hanaravore. Nor cinema stars, nor design uh, design of cinema, nor heavy nakain cinema stars. If if Arachin no mena mezvo ki uniche vo diska bez vo bez est film ing mar bergmani sadat sil ne nivel. Or ait film a mi ain film mi ain film che ail pilisopa ail ail kegal vestakan motetsumov shad khoramit psikologik pahel karat film mez vo inka. I think I covered all of it. Yeah, it's uh, more or less I had the feeling. Yeah. So it's you as your next question. <laughs> yeah, but I can go on then for for for. To, 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 to tell them how I became then a filmmaker. Yes, uh, that you, you only asked me for the first uh, well, impression, huh? You, you just okay. took the words yeah, yeah. out of my mouth. After, the first was the inspiration of this incredible time of the 60s and the Nobel Vague and Ingmar Bergman. And now, the process of, how did the process of inspiration turn into the actual process of filmmaking? Yeah, that, that took me a long time because uh, from the early 60s, where I saw the first Bergman films and, and also Hitchcock was very important for me. Uh, and in this time uh, in, in Paris, I told it already, it's a press conference, but you could go for one ticket because we were all very poor, so we had no money in this time. Uh, and uh, for one ticket, you could go stay uh, in the cinemas in the 
uh, quartier latin, you know, quartier latin, Saint Germain, where, where these uh, cinemas, you can even find them still today. The same cinemas are still existing and they are all, always, still today they are showing Hitchcock films and the films of Nouvelle Vague and, 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 uh, and Bergman. So you have really this uh, line of, 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 of great filmmaking you can follow in Paris. Therefore Paris is really a wonderful city. So, um, oh, I lost my, my way. <laughs> um, no, and then uh, I, I couldn't even say it that I would, would like to be a director because it would be, have been crazy and the people would have uh, s thought that I, I'm really a little bit uh, crazy. So, I, I tried to become a uh, an actress first, uh, because with with the friends we did then uh, one film, one black and white film, and so we were the, were a small group. We did everything, and uh, it was a it was a nice film. But we, then it was not even released because it was not so professional to get really a distribution. But um, the smell of of cinema was there. And for all of us, and uh, but uh, but and then they wanted to do a film, an next film, and where they said you have to be the protagonist, and and um, and so I went back to Germany and thought maybe when when I have to act in a film, I have to get some lessons, uh, actress lessons, and I started to 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 study also in in Germany, but also to get actress lessons. The film with my f uh, French friends were never made because they couldn't get the money together. But I so I stood with actress lessons and and I became an actress and and I, I did some theatre uh, also before and in the moment when in Germany then started the new the new vague new wave of German cinema, which started in 65, 66. I tried to get in as an actress. I didn't say, here I am and I want to make films. Do you need me uh, as an actress? And I, I found some, <laughs> some very good, good directors who wanted me. So that was uh, Volker Schlöndorf and Fassbinder. Uh, so I did several films with them. And then I um, yes, I got the chance to marry Volker Schlondorf and uh, so I could stay with him and follow uh, his work during we were together. So I loved him also, it was not only to get a <laughs> 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 But uh, then I had very good, 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 good professors then with, with Fassbinder and him. And then when I felt uh, ready to, and he also was willing to give me a little help to become a director. That was in 77. And then I did my first film, and from then on I never acted again. So I, I really reached my, no, I realized my wish, and then for me acting was, was over. Ulemes Vatsunakan, Vakanri, Nigermanak, Parizum, Carte Latan, Dalbet, Paramasanum, Michel, Ice Ornel, I poke Rick Cinema, and Rekam, or Garoman, Ampoch, or Dalbet Filmer, Nail, Alfred Hitchcock, Singmar Bregman, Fritz Lang, Dalbet Cinema, Shakuita, Vatsun Shat Arade, and Michel West Ice Ornel. I didn't ask him, Inke. Or nor is to me a nor is Pendreli Janapara, Avery, Iramotezuma, there are some two of success, or pocket in Nagaran bed, there is guts or ice process in them shut shut Tokiara Zade. Yev Iden Tatskum, Volvera Darza, Germania, Nuin Baha, but I had Francian Mech, Noraliko, Novel Vago, Vatunin Tverin, Darza, Das New Ekino. The way you pronounce it in German, yes? Yeah. The new cinema of yeah. Germany, yeah. the mid 60s. Neue Deutsche Kino, yeah. Mm. All my film school memories are coming <laughs> back to me now. You guys know, Nor Serut, the German now, Volker Schlondorf, Wim Benders, Werner Herzog, Rainer Fassbinder, Skizetin, 
Սինեմայի իր ասպիրանտուրան այդ տարիների ընթացքում կինո նկարելով, կինոյի աշխարով ինքը սնվեց և մինչև 77 թիվը որպես դերասանուհի վիլմում մասնակցեց, հետո 77 թիվից հետո և որ իր առաջին վիլմը նկարեց, այնտեղեն արդեն in films which were not very um, important parts, but only because the director interested me, because I wanted to learn all the time. My, my, my acting was more learning than, than it was meant as a real profession. Սովորեր իչպես է վիլմը կարոցվում, իչպես է վիլմը ավարդվում և այնչի այն 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 how did your, your acting process itself inform you as a director the first film you made? Հարցն այն էր, որ այսքան տարեր է որպես դերասանուհի, որ դեր ես կատարել շումերի մեջ, ինչպես այս փորձը, տարեներու փորձը կարողացավ նախապատրաստի իրան, որպես կինոր բեմադրիչ, որ ինքը դերասանների հետ ինչպես տեղ կյամանցագոր� Uh, uh, and they, they all tell me that, uh, that they feel that I was an actress and that I know what it means to be an actress. And even when uh, I'm uh, giving lessons to, to film students or so, uh, who wants to become directors, I always say, you have for once uh, to, to be an actor in, in, in one of the films. All the films you do, or films your, the, your, your students, your, your colleagues are doing, because you have to feel how it feels to be in front of the camera and not behind. Mm -hmm. it's, such an, it's such a difference. And you will become much more tolerant and much more patient with the actors when you know how exposed you are and how naked you are in front of the camera. Այս մուսիսը շատ կարևորը, որոտև որպես կինո բեմադրիչ շատ կարևոր է բեմադրիչը հասկանա, թե իչպես է դրասանա, իշկան տկլոր կզգա այդ լույսերի դիմաց։ Եվ մինչև այդ պահը բեմադրիչը չզգա, որ իշկ նախապատրաստել, որ ինքը լավ դերասանների, կինո դերասանների հոգեպանությունը լավ կարովանար հասկնալ և լավ կարովանար իրա ոչով նախապատրաստել այդ դերը ամբողջությունով ընբրնելում։ Your first film. Let's talk about your first film and what, how it came into being and what, uh, what was the process of making it uh, in 1977, if I remember correctly. Was it the, what inspired you initially to take up a feature film? Because up until that point you were acting in feature films and then your first film in France was a short film or it was a feature film that you were acting in? No, it was always feature always films. Always features. So how did you uh, prepare your, to, to direct your first feature film? Uh, uh, yeah, so um, today in the press conference I was asked if I find that uh, it's better to make film school or that you are 
not making a film school and trying to make films without. And there are examples, sure, Fassbinder didn't go to a film school. Herzog didn't go to a film school. I was not in a film school. Uh, Volker Schleunhoff was at the EDEC in, in Paris. So there, and Wim Benders was at a film school. So there, there, there are examples in both sides. And I would have liked to go to a film school, but I had not the money. So I learned uh, filmmaking by looking at, uh, no, and by, by acting and always looking and, and, and asking. And I, 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 I asked so, so many questions to, to the directors I worked with. And then, I, as I told you already, I had the chance to be with Volker Schlönhoff. And so we started to write scripts together. And then I was with him also when I was not acting. I was there to, to observe. And, and, uh, and then <coughs> at, in the cutting room, I was with him then in the cutting room. I was more with, in the cutting room uh, for his own films than he was. And I was sitting beside the, the, the cutting lady or the cutting, there's not so many cutting men, but, uh, 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 and I also there I uh, were asking why now that and how. And th so I was told a little bit, uh, every, and sometimes also as an actress, I said, oh, why you do the, the lamps, why you put the lamps there? It's strange, and, and then all of a sudden the cameraman started to, to change the lamp, and in the end they, they sometimes said, oh, you saved my life because it was, not, it was wrong. But it was just because I, I was interested now. So um, little by little I, I, I stepped in, and, and, uh, and mainly I, I wrote several scripts with him, and then I, I wrote uh, the, the first script totally alone, knowing that that would be, uh, if I would have the chance, uh, to, to make the film on my own. And, um, and I remember that uh, I tried to get money also from television, because we all need television money. We can't make films uh, even for cinema, but there must always be a part also of, of television money. And, um, and uh, uh, they they saw, because my last film, because I did my own film, my totally own film, I did it together with Volker, the, uh, the Lost Honor of Katharina Blum, perhaps you heard about the film. We did it together, we wrote the script together and we directed together. So these people of the television, they saw me that I did it already. And, um, and Monica! <laughs> <laughs> My friend is sleeping. She knows so well what I'm saying that <laughs> she went to sleep. <laughs> no, but um, uh, so so the, then they they gave me the money and and after I did the film, Volker confessed to me that he went there behind my back and said, if she's not able to do the film on her own, I will, help, I will come in and, and, and take the film over. Uh, he had the chance to not to say it to me before, but because I would have killed him. I was such a feminist in this time that I didn't want uh, uh, to be helped in this way. But then, and also in the, in the end, he, always, he said, oh, I was there waiting at home, and always I said, now she will call me, and uh, please help me, and I'm lost, and so, and I never did it. So that was then my triumph, that I, <laughs> from then on, he, he believed me that I could do uh, films. Um, Yes, 
ինչքան կարող էր ինքը հարց տալ, այդքան ավելի շատ ինքը շատ բարի ձևով ստիպում էր իր կոլիգաները, ոպերատորները նորեն մտացեն ինչի համար են այսպիսի իրենց կադրերը պատրաստում կամ ներկա լիներ և հարց տալ։ Եվ այդ հարց տալով կարովացներ է ինքը իր հասկացողությունը սինեմային է առատացնի։ Եվ այն առաջին վիլմին համար, որ ինքը գրեց մենակով, որ դեր ինքը շատ զորավոր վեմենիստ էր և commenting and praising you as a feminist. And I'm so surprised. Yes, I don't know what to say, but I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say on television, I don't know what to say on TV, 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 հետո է մաց է, եթե իմանար այդ պահին, ոնքերին կսպան էր, բայց այդպես իր առաջի վիլմի նախապատրաստությունը տարիների, տարիներ փորձ է եվ ներկալություն է եվ հարցտալ եվ կարողանալ ներջ ինչ էլ այդ ասպարեզը, � uh, I'd like to take a moment and see, instead of waiting until the end, I'd love to see if anybody in the audience yeah. has a question about this one. Mincha Aispaha, what do we make it hard to know? There's already one. Hi, I'm a tick. Mariana? I don't, uh, if you. Hello, my name is Maria. I have a question about uh, how it was for you the co-directing thing, because I think it's one of the difficulties. So if you could tell me more. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maria. I want to know that I want to make a film for the first time. I want to make a film for the first time. I want to make a film for the first time. I want to make a film for the first time. You have the plan to co-direct with somebody. Uh -huh. so. Yes, I see. <laughs> With him? No. Who is there? <laughs> uh, no, and it was a little bit difficult for the team in the beginning, no, because they were not uh, used to, and he was already a very well-known and reputed uh, director, and I was, since then I was a, uh, an actor. So to step in and, and, and being there and have a certain authority, uh, that was not so easy, but so therefore we we divided it in 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 the section uh, c cinematographic work. He did everything with the cameraman and with the settings and so, and I worked with the, with the, uh, with the actors. Uh, so that was our. But sure, I I uh, we spoke about everything before, but then on the set. He did this, uh, and he liked it much more uh, to work with the cameraman than with the actors. Uh, he learned to, to how to direct actors a little bit with me, because in the beginning, when I did my first film with him, uh, and, and I always asked him afterwards, what can I do better? Was it right? And would give me, oh, yeah, yes, 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 it was right, it was right. And, so, and, and, and then I looked once, I, I looked, when, when I was uh, uh, playing, I, I looked at him and I saw that he didn't look at me. He looked at the cameraman, how to know, and I said, but you have to look at us as actors. We want it. Oh, but uh, I didn't want to disturb you, he said. You were perhaps, you feel disturbed when, when I'm looking too. I said, but hey, we are working for you, we are playing for you, you have to look at it. And so, no, because he did several films in the, before also with, with non-actors, so maybe with non-actors, that's better you are not looking at them too, because then they become ooh, too shy. But so, um, uh, that was my part of the, of the co-direction then. <laughs> այդ պեմադրեցին, մարգերիթյան ավերի շատ հիմնական ուժը 
հերասանների հետ նախապատրաստություններ և որքերի կենտրոնացած ուժը ապարատները և ոպերատորին հետ վիզյուալը և դրամատիկը, դրամատիկը մարկարետայի կողմից վիզյուալը որքրեշնում դրվի կողմից և անիկոտ պատմեց մի երբ որքրեշնում դրվը դերասանների հետ էր միշտ խոսեր ոպերատորին հետ և երբեք չեր ուզե խանգարեր, բայց դերասանը սպասում է բեմադրիչ իրեն թելադրի, թե ինչպես պետք է այս պահը ընբրնի դրամատիկ որեն։ Շատ կներ եք ուրիշ միկրավոն կա, որտը իսկապես կարծեմ � Մարգերիտան կարողացավ ոլքերին սնել իշպես դերասանների հետ համակցագորդել և ոլքեր էլ կարողացավ Մարգերիտային ոգևորել իշպես ոպերատորների հետ և սինամատիկ կինով նկարելու սինամատիկ տեսակիտից ավելի լավ կարողա� Margaret, I want to jump a little bit ahead, um, just because nowadays our generation here, we're seeing uh, it back when you were making films, movies was a very precious commodity. It was very, you had film and you had to be very selective how much oh, film yes. you had, how much resources you had, how much uh, um, people you had working for you. And, you know, we cut to about 30, 40 years later in our generation, as Jean-Luc Goudard said, said in the 50s, everything is cinema. I feel that, you know, between the digitization of technology, with the transmediaization of technology, with Facebook and YouTube, and cinema now becoming so incredibly present around the world in every single corner, where there, before, just one generation ago, there was not even such a thing as a, a video camera. Um, I wanted. I want you to talk a little bit about you know what your thoughts are about how you know this generation, the golden epoch generation of you know filmmakers. What are the fundamental things you've learned throughout the course of your incredible career um, that you can impart uh, for those of the filmmakers that are preparing to shoot that first film that you you prepared to shoot in 1977, and what your overall. Uh, thoughts and theories are about the current state of cinema today because you're one of the rarest filmmakers making incredibly personal films that have such historic value and contemporary value, especially with Anna Arendt and Rosa Luxemburg. You've been able to bring to celluloid life these personalities with incredible weight and gravitas. Um, what are your thoughts about, uh, uh, about uh, how they can prepare for their films in this generation? And I'll very quickly par uh, paraphrase this. Որպեսի մամար հետակիրը իր ամար հարցնել, այն տարիներում ուրի ենք վիմ են նկանում շատ դժվար էր ժապավեն կտնել է, շատ սուղ էր և ամեն վիլ նկարելու ընթացքում ահավոր նախապատրաստություններ է պետք։ Եվ հիմա այս վերջին ինչ խոսկեր կարող էինք ձեզի պատմել, բացատրեր իր կյանքից, որը կարող է ձեր վիլմերին, որը մի ձերի ուղություն ծուստալ կամ սնվել։ I learned a lot when I was still an actress. I learned a lot with Fassbinder. He really, because we all then in this time, we had not so much money, so we were long, uh, far away from Hollywood cinema. So we had really to be very economic about, uh, even we had no, no money for, for getting script money. No, we wrote our scripts before, and when, then when they were accepted to be shot, then perhaps we got a part for the, for the script writing. No? And for instance, my three uh, Fassbinder films, I did three as an actress, I never got a penny. So we all worked together for, for, for all for nothing or for very little money. Uh, but we had all this passion. 
to make films, no? And he, Fassbinder, he was really so economical because in these times, uh, as, as you said, uh, the material, cinema material, the film material was very, very expensive. So we had, we had a limit how much we could use for one film. So we really had to reflect what we are doing. And he did really, when he had a panoramic, then he went like this and there he stopped and then he had a, a first, uh, 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 a big shot uh, first, then he did that and he really did only that what he needed then, that he already knew that he will need it in the cutting room. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was a very, very important lesson for me. I did films for, for very, very few money in the beginning. Uh, and uh, I think that was a good lesson for, for us. Today with, with uh, video and with, uh, with the digital, you can, you can take everything and you, you, sometimes you are too much um, trusting that in the end you put all that in the cutting room and then you will find your way how to put it together, no? And you f will find a form or you will find an aesthetic. That may be good, sometimes it's, it's, it's marvelous what's coming out. But um, I'm more of this, uh, still of this perhaps a uh, little bit uh, classical way to, to know a little bit more before what I want and where I want to go. No? For me, for instance, the first uh, image in a film is very important and the last also. So in between you have then your story, but you have to give signs uh, what of meaning, no? And that you have to, to reflect it before. Uh, there are times that you can get out from improvision or that there's all of a sudden uh, the, the, the sun goes down and, and in a very beautiful way and you didn't imagine it before and then you see it and the artist, uh, we have to go there and take that. No, you have to be, uh, to, to have a sort of, 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 of of uh, imaging in your mind already. It's like when you shut your eyes and then you see already a, a sort of your film. And then to be open for things coming in. And I always think the more you are prepared, you, you, the more you are open, you are free to be open what happens. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. uh, ֆասպինդերին <gülüyor> Nakhkan arachin or nakarhaman arten filma ir matki mech nakhabat rastvats er vor panorami arachin nakaran nakarunuts arten kiter vor ais pahit seto ais terits ainder nakaranel petche yev aiter kiter ukerta krosa petel kenal nakaren yev ait hima ais mer nor seldu mi harke mengshat aveli hnaravolutuner un digital aparatero vor. Բավական իշխան ուզեք նկարել հետո ֆիլմի ողնաշարը կարողանալ գտնել մոնտաժի սենյակի մեջ բայց իր համար շատ կարևոր օրինակ էր այս տարիներում որ կարողացավ հասկանալ որ որովհետև շատ էկոնոմիկ վիճակ էր այս ֆիլմերը շատ դժվարությունով կնկարային պետք է 4-ին անգամ ավելի շատ նախապատրաստած լինի ավարտված ֆիլմը քո մտքի մեջ նախքան առաջին օրը նկարահանման եւ կարծում եմ որ այս դիսիպլինը շատ կարող է եղել եւ իհարկե է այդ դիսիպլինն է որ կարող կարողացել է կարող կարողանում այն իրենք իրար հետևից ֆիլմեր նկարել այդ բարձ ժամանակի ընթացքում to to give you an example i i i once did a film about the war years you know the war in in germany which were built in 61 and and came down the first night of opening was in in 89 uh, so i needed uh, for the film in the beginning i needed uh, black and white material from the from the foundation of from the construction of the wall and what happened uh, there during it was constructed. 
and I needed uh, a film material from the very first opening, uh, the night of the opening. And, uh, and I looked up the material and there was uh, in, in 81 uh, also the, the, the journalist for, 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 for television or for film, uh, for, for cinemas, they still uh, worked on uh, a 60 millimeter film. film. And, uh, and the images were so strong and so really impressive and, and so well uh, looked at the situation. You really had the feeling that the cameraman looked and, and took the, 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 the essence of the moment uh, in, in one uh, shot. And, uh, and then I saw the material for, for the, the last, and that was 60, uh, 89, when everybody went there with a video camera and, and they were wah, wah, wah. They took, you know, just like it came. Sure, it was a moment of, of excitement and of, of, of uh, you didn't know exactly what, what's going on. But it, there was no one shot I could use because it was just, you know, because it was so, so easy. So the, the material didn't cost nothing and it was so easy to, to move the camera, you know? And, and, and that gave me a, a lesson. So I had to, I could take the material from 61 and include it in the film, but all the night of, the, of 89, I had to reshoot <coughs> it from my side to get images which were a little bit strong. I know because you couldn't have strong images in the beginning and in the end just blah, 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 no? Film and Garetic, ah, yes. Film and Garetic, Berlin, Party Massin, Berlin Party Chessman, if a Turkish country, in Kikaro, and South Control, and Jamanak, or Arachin, but Barsatele, but to my country, in Bastet Milimetrov, Yev Hamamatat's video over the Garaz, and I seventy Tarbertan Taskum, ink. Bolor Kadir or Karov or Tagorte or Ida Hamar, Mesnishan Kutune, or Pes Cinematographic Guns, Passet Millimetrove, or Veteva Jamanak, nor any discipline in a Borpeke, Shad Kartu Kutruku concrete Imanal Kadri in Che, which Pesekarovat Kadre, Umbernella, Iragan Tuna, or Dunikarom, as well as Cheska or Modern Stacks, Documental Pesakitiake. Is it to remain the upper video? Success are at an all each card for now. Me Berlin Berlin party each man a watch me card to go out and to open the court. So, what is watch me a composition a kinematography a discipline check on the card to match if in a man a hundred eight past eight millimeter seventy past cards of it. You know, but a given. Uri wurde wird gegangen in inch object objective of inch lucid art und kann wohl am Ende mit emotional impact stats wird impact man hat schon mal eine wohl also ist zu nehmen ein also ist zu hart sein am Ende no give it so the other one can can hear her also Um, so I'm just wondering, uh, imagine you've really planned out your script very, very well, and it doesn't work out in real, in, in when you're filming it. How do you reconcile the two? How do you still make your film work according to the script? Or do you adjust the script, do you adjust the film? What happens? I'm a hard scenario, I'm a scenario, I'm a scenario, I'm a Bahme ka vur tu scenarion grumes ait film ere ida kana sumes yev met kit met chedo ida kana tian met chat film scenarioi het tenav ena vur vur kapchun ena inche entanur ko kartik nera ais prosesi masi. Yeah, for the most of my films, I I I wrote my scripts myself, or with somebody else, but was so I have already in mind when I'm writing it, I have already really in mind the story and, and, and some images too. Not sure, not all of them, because we are not shooting only at studio. Hitchcock, he could really pre foresee every, 
image because he was in, in the studio, so he could. But we are all uh, dependent from sets we are finding. So we write a script and then we go and search for locations. And not always the locations are these you want to have. No, you have to be very, uh, uh, how I would say, um, flexible. Uh, flexible no? And then you have uh, so often to adapt your story or your script writing to the the, and, and in the be best sense, in the best moments, you find things you didn't even imagine. They are better than what you imagined. And so you can uh, 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 rewrite your script a little bit in this, in this way. Or also when you find an actress like Barbara Sukova, who is adding to your own fantasy, who is coming in and adding sti si still things because every actor is uh, more, more or less thinking about his own part. For a director or for a scriptwriter, you have to think of, of everybody. So everybody for himself as an actor still brings you things or brings you uh, the own fantasy. So that is the best moments when you can get something more than you could imagine. No. So, but when you, you write a script and you, are, you have an idea, a main idea of your story, and, and more it's, you have it already in your mind, more you can be free to be open for improvisation or for, for new settings or for new actors or so. No. But in the way you have to have a line, an intellectual or a, a, a picture line. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, Arant Mekbarov, Vora Tasse Edgeward Ungres, and Mekbachikar Kupernay, Cinemai Rashk, Pahit Mekite, or Ankan Tarbej Process Neren, Metum Ice Borodi Rakanatsman and Tatske, or Pat Mutunet Aveli, Karovana, Kartsrat's name. Come and meet Jamanak, but Kes Gushin, and look at Karove Mikpam Portsi or Gishervich Anapalit. I just wanted to add some. Uh, okay, no, to to her to her. I would just wanted to add something to give an example for this freedom or for this something happening, miracles are happening. I have made a film of two sisters, where one is in, in prison and the other one is visiting her in prison. And, and it's a so-called terrorist who is in prison. And so they have a, um, a glass m wall, not, how do you say, a, 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 Yeah, a glass, a glass, uh, glass shade or yeah, uh, yeah, Yes, in between them, they can see each other, but there is a glass, and, and the glass is a little bit like a mirror. So they can see the other one, but they always see themselves too. No, so to, to not uh, see always uh, yourself, looking to the other, you are making this. The one head is there, and one is here. So all this I knew that it's, and I, 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 I played with it as an image. But then, all of a sudden, because one of these uh, two uh, sisters is dying then afterwards, so they see for the last time in this moment, they are mirroring themselves, no? And there's one image from, from the uh, terrorist woman and the other one from the sister who is visiting her, and they're exactly together, no? congruent. And all of a sudden, out comes a portrait of a very old woman. So that was for me really the miracle that I couldn't expect. 
because I didn't uh, try it before, no? And when these two faces were totally congruent, no? It became death. It became the old lady as if she was already in the grave. And then in the next scene she is, she is dead. So that are moments, magic moments, you can't wait for, but they happen sometimes. And then come in others and say, my God, you are great, how did you do that? Huh? It was just happening. Huh? Uh, we must uh, make part of the image where you could and make a terrorist there, or a uh, make a queen or me on my approach to this thing, where she part of it, this thing, you know, if a bank here, or make a music chicken of this thing, but it's more chump of car or Dimagitsnere, <laughs> 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 and why I would say that was because when they were shooting in Cold Blood, in Richard Brooksville, when, when Robert Blake is testifying before he yeah. dies, they had a window next to his face and accidentally one of the lights had, had, had been put placed mm -hmm. incorrectly and it started to highlight the rain on the window that started to make oh, him cry yes, this way. Oh, yes, yeah, fantastic, scene. yeah. That was yeah. a complete, complete yeah. accident. Yeah. So they would praise him <laughs> yeah. and say it's yeah. genius. But yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. She had a question she wanted to ask you, uh, uh, more related to feminism and uh, oh. obviously Hannah Arendt. And uh, Hannah Arendt said that, uh, she was paraphrasing a, a quote by Hannah Arendt that basically said that uh, you can't necessarily discuss a theme unless you have an intense emotional connection to it, um, out, outside, of its, uh, outside of the entity of the theme uh, existing on its own. And she would like to know what, uh, where you, where do you see uh, f feminism now? Where do you see? Obviously, you've made films about very strong women, and you haven't 
over sentimentalized them. You, 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 have, you have created them, you have fictionalized them in a way that's been very uh, true to the essence of who these people were. And overall, what, what, are, what are your thoughts about this stage and how your thoughts about this theme has evolved from then until now? Yes. Hmm? What? And that women cinema have brought change. something new to the to the cinema. How women have integrated cinema. Um, first, I would like to because the sentence you you mentioned from Hannah Arendt that you can't t touch a theme if a, a theme if you are not also in a way emotionally involved, uh, and and that is for me very very true. I can't. Uh, therefore, it's very uh, difficult for me to do a film uh, on comment, on, 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 a, on, a, on, a, on order, yeah? Uh, I have to be uh, touched or emotionalized by or a theme or a, a man or a woman, or men a little bit less in my film, I must confess. But um, Hannah Arendt or Rosa Luxemburg, or so, there must be something which is touching me, which w where I emotionally get in, on the road. Yeah, and then I'm interested. Uh, I can't just say I want to make a, a film about the death sentence, for instance, no? An intellectual scene. I, I must have somebody to, to put it that on, no? To, a, 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 a human being which I'm interested in, and then I can tell the story with this, uh, with this person, yeah? Um, the feminism, yes, uh, Hannah Arendt was not, not a feminist at all. She was even against feminism, as you know. But she was such a strong woman that she became an idol for feminists, or she became a, uh, an example for, for, for women you know, wanting to, to, to make something out of their lives. Because she was already, she read with, when she was 14, she read already Kant and she knew Greek and she was one of the best students of Heidegger. And, and, and in these times, uh, there were not so, so many women who studied now. So she was from the beginning already a, a, a exceptionally intelligent uh, person. So she had not to, to, to fight uh, to be remarked. No, and she was in, 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 and she was also very pretty when she was young. So she was, she was in a way, she was used to be the best or to be very visible. No, uh, but, but feminist, and therefore she has not to be a feminist. But feminism is to to fight for women who are not so much looked at. No, who are who are not they they, they who not had already the right to be on their own and to be some, somebody and to, to work on their own and to be visible, no? And therefore, I'm a, I was a feminist uh, in the beginning because uh, I saw so many women who wanted things and they, they couldn't get to them because or they, they, they lacked of courage or they, they were just put down from, from their surrounding, no? You have to be really very, very, um, um, you have to accept hatred from others when you want to come where you where your wish is going. No, so perhaps it's better to. And as far as uh, the, the, the follow-up to the question about uh, how far women have come and overall. Yeah, that women, is the second time. Yeah. When I was Hamamita, I said, "Post analysis, this specific mindset, or Ilhamar." չկարողապատվել <laughs> բոլոր աշխարով ընդունվել է որպես ֆեմինիստ եւ շատ հոյակապ դասատուներ է ունեցել հայդեգրի հետ կապված եւ ընդհանուր իր գործը որ արվել է մեծ մեծ դեր է կատարել ֆեմինիզմի պատմության ընթացքում եւ հիմա իր համար ամենակարևորը 
այդ պահանը, որպես վեմինիստ իր ամար շատ կարավոր էր այդ կարիներում, ինքը կարող անար, ինքը իր ճակատագիրը իր ձերքով կերտ է, ոչ թե մյուսը իր ճակատագիրի պետք է դու պանգասվես, որքով կարծիքը պիտի ատվի և ինչպես դու պետք է այդ ընթացքում դու ինք թքո կյանքը կերտեր, կյան պիտի սոպան։ Սետիսվայր։ Կոյ։ Նա, որ վեմինիզմ դուտեղ, այս ինք դուտեղ, we 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 managed it already uh, in a in a good way now because when I look for telling f of of cinema, there's so many more uh, women now making films than in the beginning when I started. So the the the, the opportunities are are really uh, uh, there, and uh, but uh, I think that feminism perhaps now it's moving to the Islamic. Uh, countries or to India or to other countries where we were so much linked to our own destiny in Europe, we women know, that we didn't look to the other countries or to the other world and to other women in the world. And now I think we are more ready or we are more uh, interested to look at the others and to, to, to think about a way to help the others because there are still so many countries where women are really, really uh, victims and in a mess. And, and we have to, to move now because we get so many things already, that, so we have, but I don't know how. I have no uh, solution, I have no uh, recipe. <coughs> բազմանալ և իր տարիներից մինչեր իման ուրախ է, որ այսքան գին կինով ռեջիսոր ներկան, բայց հիմա այդ վեմինիզմի կամին պչում է դեպի իսլամական երկիրները և ինչպես է այդ այդ վենոմենան հիմա ինչպես է շատ կարովոր է բայց հիմա սերում դու պողվել է և հիմիքվա սերում դու արդեն է իսլամական երկինների կենտրոնացած ուժը այն տեղ է, որ այն տեղ է շատ կարևոր է, որ դեզ չեն շում են այն տեղ է։ And it goes back to what you were saying, that you have to be ready to be hated. Yeah. And it's such an incredible statement because you're seeing in recent months and years what's happened, you know, far east of the Atlantic, far east of the Danube and certain Islamic countries where the it's fundamental to, to, to have that notion. Uh, it, it's staring at you in the face. I was very much moved by you saying, be ready to be hated. And I wanted to ask if there was a situation in your life like that during your career, and how did you act in that situation? Thank you. Yeah, I had the chance to, to not to be violated or not to be aggressed uh, physically, but that was more on a, on a, on a on an intellectual level that I was always put in uh, and, and criticized and, and t t for instance, to, just to give an example with my, with my first films, uh, there were some male critics in Germany, they wrote, that, uh, this, that, that she still gets money for a film only because she has no uh, prick, no? How do you say? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really, it was this sort of, 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 of sexistic uh, uh, criticism, or that they uh, 
Yeah, that they just uh, give you much less money that they would give for a film to 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 mail, uh, 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 or that they say stop making films. What what do we want still on? Uh, yeah, you uh, there are so much better men making films than than you can do it. So what the men said in the beginning, I I I, I said <laughs> that this director said men are better to make films and women are better to understand them. So. Uh, what are you doing when you hear f sentences like that, no? But you have to go on. When you choose this, this, uh, this work or this uh, profession, then you have to be ready. But Rosa Luxemburg was aggressed, Hannah Arendt was aggressed. All these women I am uh, dealing with in my films, they were all attacked and stand up and in the end they were also try in a way they were there, they, they stayed there and you can look at them today and they can be models. I don't want to be a model but I want to encourage women to do what they want. Sorry, if Karen Chen Chen Pandela, Jishmanta, give it a chat carore, Chitornel Chen Shuma, Sherry, Kiko Janabaritz, Ispes would put it in the Janabarit Sheren, or Germania, Kisain, or Miana to Kofimera, Bogana Woman, or Vedev, Tramar Chess, Wagin Kurish, Mikjuris, the Assess, is Chen Taka, me, by the Petke <laughs> Give it to a man. Uh, uh, excuse yeah, me. That's one there. man who will uh, since since already since a lot of time he yeah, wants yeah. to. Yeah. You are the next one. He always tries to. <laughs> See, I'm being a feminist today. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my question is. the role of the director in the current in times. So I was in Copenhagen a couple of weeks ago. I was coming to the design museum and I saw some embroideries that were made in the 18th, 17th, 14th centuries. And they were deliberately very fine pieces of craft, you know. I would imagine the three, four or five months where they put into like a 30 centimeter piece, a lot of work. And then as you move through the time, these pieces became more shallow, the elements became bigger, and when you move to 1940s, you see simplicity, more plain, very um, basic designs, you know, no more a lot of work. So you see this is a parallel to like how simplicity, when if we look in the modern world of video making, you know, how simple it is to have your own audience, how it's easy just to put up a channel, take your phone out, make stuff. And when you look back at the craft, what happened to these, it just looks like when it's becoming easy to do things, people just tend to forget the hard way. But I think something is getting lost. And the real question here is that, how th does these opportunities that come along with technological developments and the development of the internet, how do they shape the portrait of the director? I mean, people are changing really. And the new generation of directors are going to be from those young people who grew up watching those entertaining things that are easy to make. You know, what ha what is happening to the portrait of a director? Is he one that is making things to help people to reflect, or he's just going to make things that are easy to make to entertain? Oh, you have to dis. Uh, 
շատ կեղեցիկ խոսք ասեց Քոպենհեգեն, Քոպենհեգում եմ ուզեղում հին ամբրոյդրիներ էր տեսել ձերի կորձել և շատ մանրամաս շատ կենտրոնացած շատ յուրահատուկ շատ բարդ կորձել են և ընթացքում, որ չի բարդանում, այլ հեշտանում է և ինչ է բեմադրիչի պորտրեյը և ինչ նպատակի պետք է հասնվի։ Ա, այդ է մերի կտ իմեջ մեզ է բրոդրի, բատ ինձ իս տայմս դու դիտն դու իտ վոր եսելվ, դու դիտ իտ վոր այդ 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 ա� Today, it's, it's more or less you do it for yourself, no? When you are making a picture or when you are making... And when you look at the medieval for, for, the, for the churches, they were made uh, for during generations and generations and generations, and everybody gave only one piece of, of his work to make it a big thing then, no? The cathedrals, they were. So. And today, it must be very instant. Everything must be instant immediately. The success must be instant, everything. That's so much change that you, you even can say that the one is better than the other one. We are living in another world, so we have to adapt in a certain way, no? And, and you have also to decide if you want to entertain people and then you make an entertaining film. It's nothing against it. People want to be entertained also. It's their right to be entertained. No, also, but uh, but then you can also decide to make a, f a film which has a uh, 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 how do you say a certain weight that that goes to the ground. No, it's not only up, but it goes down like a tree. The tree goes down and goes also up. So I would like to make a tree <laughs> to have roots and also the sky. But that is your own decision. You can't decide for somebody else. Ուրեմ ես այդ դարերում ստեղծագործում է ինկ կամ աստու համար, կամ մի կենան ժրոն որինակի համար, just like he was creating for the church, that's why he painted the Sistine Chapel, it was for the church. For the church and for God, not only for the church, so you're it, yeah. Ամեն կանչը աստու էտ կապված էր այդ դարերի ստեղծագործությունները, Եվ հիմա ամեն ինչը իր ասակին պես հեշտացած է և արդեն թու ասու համար չես ամեն, դուքո համար ես տեղծագործում։ Եվ ինքը ուզում է, որ դարնալ ծար լավ արմատավորված, լավ բինդ արմատով, բայց կարողանա ինքը բարձնա Եվ բորոր նրիրավոք ունեն ենտրտեինմենտ ուզեն ոչ մեր պրոբլեմ չկա այդ կանչի մեջ, բայց իր համար շատ կարովոր է, որ կարովանա իր գործը ծարի պես լավ խոր արմատներով սինեմայի մեջ։ Ես կեզ անդից գող։ Ես Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. He doesn't want to translate. <laughs> I need a drink now. Yes, I'm going to go to the 
ժրով պատմություն եւ եթե չեմ սկարվում Vision ֆիլմի մասին ասել է որ այնտեղ նույնպես չկա լեսբի սիրո պատմություն եւ ուզում է իմանալ արդյոք լեսբիանիզմ լեսբի ֆեմինիզմը պարտապես արտահայտում չի ստացել ձեր ֆիլմերում այն պատճառով որ կերպաները որոնց դուք նկարել եք չեն ունեցել իմ պատմություններ թե ձեր կողմից կա չէ ցանկություն նման պատմության պատմություն նկարելու She's by the way excellent translator. You yeah. yeah, he didn't want to translate it. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm not reluctant at all. Uh, lesbianism is for me it's uh, it's so normal. It's it's homosexual or 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 or, or, or. but you know I I, I I didn't say that uh, for vision that they were no lesbians to defend myself. It was just the truth. And it's so easy sometimes. I made a film uh, which was called uh, Sheer Madness and there was a very strong woman friendship in. You know? And and so so many said, oh, that is a lesbian, but you have not uh, the courage to show it. But when, if I want to, to show a lesbian uh, 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 friendship, why not? Sure, I have the courage. Only it's it's much easier for men to say, oh, they are only lesbians, uh, and, and so they are not uh, valuable for us. But a strong woman friendship between two women who are not lesbians, that is the, 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 the uh, um, no. Ah. Tell, help me. That's much stronger as, a, as an attack, no? That two women are, 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 are really strong and intelligent and they are not speaking only of, of, of children and of all these uh, women sayings of cooking but they are speaking of literature and so on. So, so that was in 82 I say, I made this film and it was very very um, provocating for men and they, um, and they criticized me. That was a moment also when, when somebody wrote uh, uh, only because she had no prick that she she's still doing films. It's much more provocative to do this than to show uh, lesbian women. For me, it's normal. I hope for you too. Lesbian seri masin, benar demce, şart kajaleru me. Bayzira hamar averi şart karavure. Nedkin yete jits kalças. Kaza it's it's more important. The last bit I didn't I didn't follow. It's much more provocative for you to show uh, to to not show this or to show this. Uh, no, to, to show the friendship, to, not yeah. necessarily the yeah. To show the friendship, not necessarily the sexuality. Averi karavure ira hamar. <laughs> That's the, the, the wrong scene for him. He, he, he can't understand. I'm going to be in the next lesbian scene, by the way. I'm going to take it. 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 Yes, thank you. Uh, perhaps I didn't understand uh, something you said earlier, uh, if you permit me. You were talking about uh, women in Western Europe. I have been making films for about 40 years in Switzerland. And I find uh, what you were speaking of in terms of prick and uh, the uh, men are better at making films, this is to me sort of a grotesque chauvinism. But I find that uh, it continues very strongly. Uh, it, but it goes underground and goes in very subtle ways. The men that treat the female directors in Switzerland, uh, both inside television and, and uh, outside um, mm. for fiction films, uh, what men say, how they handle themselves, how they treat women, and so on. I think it's very pervasive and very insistent. But men have learned to do it. Uh, in, uh, I can help in a much more subtle way, uh, but the the intention is still the same of maintaining their own power over 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, thank you for that. Yeah, That's the man who says it, yeah. Uh, maybe it, it comes, you, you, you feel this in much more subtle ways, but it's still as intense and as hurtful. Okay. Um, uh, just one more question. Yeah. Uh, I am a filmmaker in Switzerland, working inside television and outside of television. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for having raised this question because um, I uh, often have to face a uh, remark under the cover of humor or things like that, and it can be really hurtful as well. So I would be also um, mm -hmm. curious to know what you have to say. Okay, about. okay. I'm very grateful to you that you say it uh, and that, that it was not me to say it because I, was, I have this uh, reputation to always be so terrible with men and always uh, complaining about women's destiny and so and just uh, today I didn't want to go as far and I wanted to, to show the, be the better side from, 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 the, from, from my starting f of filmmaking and, and that there's really, when you look at the film schools, there are more women now in film schools than, it, and than, than may, often male students. There are a lot of, sure, they have not, the, at, in Cannes, when you look at the festival in Cannes, there you find still very, very, very few women who could show their films now. But on the, on the basic level, there's a, a lot of change has been in these, let's say, 30 years when I started to make films, no? And it, I, I'm, 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 I'm convinced that it will, will go on. No? And, but there is a subtle and more, more discreet and more uh, way to, 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 to handle women in a, in, a, in a humiliating way, that's for sure. But we know now how to defend ourselves also a little bit more. No? You don't think so? Shachinurakalem <laughs> <laughs> Sexism is a very important thing, but it's a very important thing. It's a very important thing. I see I think we, sh we should need a, a wine now. Yeah, I think we were huh? last two questions. Last question, two yes. questions. I need a wine after all this. <laughs> Hello, um, my name is Maria. And uh, first of all, I want, I want to say thank you for coming here and giving this wonderful master class because I consider you to be one of the greatest directors in all film history and about the film about My God. two sisters, I don't know uh, the name in uh, English, I know the Russian Svintovi Vrimina, I consider it a um, masterpiece and uh, filmmaking, directing, it's a film where we can learn to how to make film and uh, my question in brief, uh, please um, tell me the names of the directors in, because you mentioned Hitchcock, Bergman and uh, I would uh, know your opinion about modern cinema and the tendencies of modern cinema 
share it, your opinion with us and give some names of modern direc directors whom we can watch now, we must watch now, whom you advise to be talented and uh, whose film uh, can give us something. Okay, thank you. Vremes Margarita Nidamina Sira is a regisoner, and she 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 is a regisoner, Oh, that's very difficult for me to tell you names. You have to search yourself. Look at them and search for yourself who you want to, to follow. It's better than to give names. Your favorite? Uh, I have no favorite. I'm looking around and sometimes it's in one country and sometimes it's another one. It's also the chance I have. I, I have not the chance to see all the films. So I, it would be very unjust for me to say this one or this one. No, you have to have to, to be a festival director, I don't know, to see all the films of the world. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 